and my jeans are torn Sweat coming through my shirt Keep pushing even though it hurts I'm chasing what I know is true There's nothing that I would not do When everyone around me drops I'm never gonna ever stop I won't waste another minute No, I won't I'm a man on a mission <laughs> I don't need no permission. Oh, I'm a man on a mission. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got an exciting episode for y'all this week. We are headed to South Texas to the Double Creek Ranch. This has become one of our favorite places to go hunt. We've had the opportunity to bring some kids with cancer there over the last several years. And it really started about seven years ago, I was invited by the ranch owner to come down and bring my kids on a hunt. And so ever since that time, we've been having a blast going there, uh, shooting deer. And this year, it's really a privilege because Hunter is finally getting to go back after seven years of a hiatus of not going down there. And so we're hoping that he can get him a big buck as we head down to the Double Creek Ranch. All right, so we are headed to Texas and I'm super excited. Uh, Texas is one of those places where there are just a ton of deer. Uh, so as we drive up, uh, and as we get there, uh, I'm just almost giddy getting ready to go and get up in the, uh, in the stand. And so sure enough, as soon as we get there, we unload all our stuff, we do a little shooting and we head right into the stand. All right, guys, well, we just got in the stand. We already have deer out here in the plot or in the little spot here where it's cleared. Um, we already have a nice bug that's out here feeding. Hopefully we can uh, we can have some more action and uh, and it should be a good evening set. Alright so we're looking for two specific bucks. Uh, Ron does a bunch of scouting and knows exactly what deer are on his property. Uh, so what we come up for is kind of to kill some management deer. Um, and so he has two specific bucks kind of on the hit list for us. Uh, one of those bucks is a buck that they've been hunting for nine or ten years. Um, and they call him Flair. Uh, and last year he was a 10, really, really nice buck. Um, and it just seems to be that he's coming down. And so he's an eight this year. Uh, so Ron put him on the hit list. Um, and then also there's another buck. They really didn't give him a name because he kind of disappeared. Uh, early in the season so they haven't seen him in a while so we're kind of hoping that he'll reappear um, but with all that being said Flair had been very very consistent at the stand that Ron put me on so I'm hoping that this evening I can see him All right, so I am absolutely covered up in deer. I mean, there's deer coming from the right, there's deer coming from the left, but I look up, coming down the lane is a giant. So I'm looking at him and the more he makes his way to me, I'm starting to think this deer is him, but he's huge. So I'm like, surely not, because this is supposed to be a management deer. But I pull out my phone and start taking pictures and trying to send pictures to dad and Ron and uh, just trying to get a little confirmation that, that this is him. All right, so we're sitting in our blind and we've got deer everywhere and we get a text from Hunter saying that he thinks the deer that he's after is out in front of him. And so I'm trying to let him know whether he's got the right buck and he keeps texting me pictures of this deer's butt facing away from us. And I'm like, dude, you got to send me a picture face on so that I'll know whether it's the deer or not. So after feeding around for a little bit, he finally looks up at me and I get a good picture right head on, I send it over to Ron and Dad, and they say, that's him, so here we go.
some of it. I mean, perfect, absolutely perfect. I couldn't have put it any better. So I'm pretty excited because there's no way he's going very far. <laughs> Mate, it has been a struggle the last couple of years for me. That big sucker come out and, and worked his way around this field just working does and working bugs and they fought right there. They locked up and he whooped the other one and, and uh, he come back and give me a broadside shot. 18 yards. You can't, you can't do nothing better about that. I'm pretty sure I smoked him double lungs all day long. He, he, there's no way he went far. Pumped up, baby. First, first evening. I tell you what, it's gonna make me sleep better the rest of the week. Knowing I can get out here, shoot some does, and have a good time. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, man, what an awesome time. I feel like y'all may have seen him right there. Y'all you know, come in the way y'all are acting. <laughs> I think I see him right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that thing. Good grief. What a deer. Oh, man, I'm speechless. Ron, thank you so much. It is, uh, it has been a minute. Since I've shot a big old buck, I was when he come out, I was like, oh man, that's a stud. And then I noticed the, the markings on his face is kind of what you can tell right here on this, right over his eyes, those black spots, those black lines is kind of what our uh, telltale sign was to notice which deer it was. And he come out sideways and I couldn't tell right at first. And, uh, and then he looked up at that box stand right up at me one time and I said, oh, I think that's him. So we did the old the old text exchange to make sure. Man, what a deer. What a deer. Well, it's really been an awesome hunt to be able to be here this week and to, just to be with the Hubbard family. They've been so gracious to us, but more than that, to be able to watch Hunter hunt and to watch him grow into a hunter, uh, knowing that from the time he was a little kid that I would take him out and try to get him to learn how to shoot a deer and put the crosshairs on a deer, or put the bead on the deer, and now watching him as a grown man, be able to hunt and harvest deer and just be a successful hunter. So it's been pretty special for me as a dad to be able to watch that all of these years. And so uh, I'm excited about this week and I'm excited about the journey that's ahead for us too as a father-son uh, hunting team. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was definitely a blast being there. Uh, but one thing I kind of wanted to share with y'all, I know we do it a lot. We do go through a whole like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff, but it really does help you guys will hit that like button on the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. We want to be able to keep doing this, and uh, to be able to do it, it's all because of y'all and because y'all liking and supporting us. So we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.